Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jurtastic, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Uh, yes, this is the second to last episode. Look at that 787 landing. There you go. There you go. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jarmyville. Weather outside is about 82 degrees. Jarmy Commander himself is in the building today. Look at that 747 taking off. Holy cow, look at all those planes. Anyways, so let's start off, man. First and foremost, you see that cement? I actually got a cement paint uh, to do it over that. I don't understand why these airplanes are so crazy. I mean, it's just nuts. It's just nuts. But yeah, you heard me. You heard me right. This is the second to last episode of City Skylines. Um, you know, I feel like we've done what we can do with this. With this, I mean, there's damn near. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this. There's damn near anything like to fill up. I mean, these are mountainous areas. We can go over here, obviously. Blah blah blah. Go over there. But and these are more mountainous areas. Uh, let's 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 take a look here. For example, so after this, I can't even purchase anymore. So I can't even really use this. Even I have the 25 tile mod on. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and unlock all of them, even though it's gonna like mess up the traffic if traffic is heavy in some areas. So I mean, as you can as you can see here, we've done what we can do. Downtown is looking spiffy, it's looking beautiful. Look at the residential area. Look at the main downtown area. Look at this and look at that. And here we go again. And then we got the airport, then we got a good central train station. Of course, I do not like this at all. Um, how it's just in front of these houses, you know, especially if you're paying some prime. That's not maybe not that bad. But regardless, so what are we going to do before this ends? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and expand uh, with a good old just regular residential neighborhood. Nothing crazy. Uh, unfortunately for us. Like I said, we don't really have that much room. We can do the 99 tiles mod, but we're not going to go with that series. I was hoping for 30, 25 episodes is exactly what we're getting. A very, very successful series, if I say so myself. I am very happy and very excited and very... What's the word I'm looking for here? Jubilant? Is jubilant even a word that can be used in this context? But I am very uh, honored to have made this series with you guys. Oh my God, do I love City Builders. Oh my God, do I love the Jarmy. I just love me some Jarmy, man. So, I'm, I mean, listen, this is what we do here. This is what we do. We make cities. We make dreams come true. That's, that's what we do here, man. You know what I mean? So, without further yapping, so today's objective is going to be mainly to get another residential neighborhood, a small, low-density residential neighborhood, which is going to be the final neighborhood. And you might ask, what do you got in store for us for the last episode? I mean, listen, I don't script things on this channel. I don't script my video. I don't do anything. So, I'll figure it out. But trust me, it will be a video worth watching. So let's go ahead and do it this way. Um, not a big fan of how this is going to be like a, a regular grid system. I'm definitely not a big fan of this right here. It's going to be a regular grid system. But, you know, hey, you're watching this on a Wednesday. And on a Friday, what's coming your way is Tropical 6 is back. Tropical 6 is back. A lot of you guys, including one of my, my homies, CSC, is like, I, th I thought you said you were done with that. I, I told him, listen, 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 go back, watch the video, bro. Never said I was done for that forever. I just said I was done with that for the time being because it was truly frustrating. But uh, there's been a few updates in Tropical. Uh, I keep saying this every every now and then. My brother is an avid Tropical fan as well. And he was telling me about how, you know, the updates, the whole gorilla stuff, you know, the updates that made it very, very frustrating have improved it. So I have no issues at all giving that a shot. So that's what we're doing. We are about to hit up Tropical 6 uh in the season four believe it or not we've done already three seasons of tropical six of course the first season was when the game came out and we've done more of the more of a um regular you know make everybody happy type of type of island and then season two was more of a mili military dictatorship type of island uh and season three we are gonna go back with some little bit challenges here and there but the idea of it is to um go ahead and make it make it a regular island but have have a few challenges to it so i guess if you're watching this and you are a tropical fan ooh, what the hell is this i guess if you're watching this and you are a tropical fan my question for you would be uh, and something that i've been kind of having a hard time deciding on what era should we start in should we start in the colonial era should we start in cold war should we start in world war should we start in modern times so what areas actually it doesn't look that bad what area should we start in is is my question to you here uh the jarmies so mm -hmm. should we get this out yes, we should. 
Yes, we should. And yes, we will. Yes, we should. Yes, we will. As you can see, a, a mini neighborhood here. Uh, but so, yeah, let me know what area or what modern time should we start in Tropico. But today is all about city skylines. Uh, a game that I really, really enjoyed a lot. Um, one of the bus skills about it, even though I made sure I did not select that. But according to my city advisor, DB, uh, you know, we do have the European theme. And that's why here, let me show you what, what that does. That's why you see a lot of downtown buildings like this. Usually if it's an American theme, they'll go higher. The ones you see that actually went higher, these are add-on buildings or props that just kind of evolve into it. So as you can see in the down, look at this. This looks like a downtown. This sure does look like a downtown. I mean, it's busy. It's vibrant. Diverse well cultured you know all these things describe this but um but yeah so uh it's it's been a pleasure man and, and all the people that watch this series I'm, I'm talking like it's the last episode it ain't but all the people that watch this series you know i really do appreciate you guys actually we don't want to put this here i do appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart it's been it's been a pleasure man it's been a pleasure and and this is this is what i feel like i was born to do uh, entertain you guys and specifically entertain you guys from the city aspect, strategy, business strategy, political strategy, city building strategies, um, aspect of things, as well as as well as role play. You know, we got the Kevin Nolov character, we got this character, that character. That's just what I feel like I've been put on this earth to do is to talk and entertain the masses, and that's something that I take uh, great pride in doing. I do like entertaining folks, especially the Jarmy man. You guys hold a special place in my heart, and that is something that nobody can deny so we're gonna mix it up with a little bit with residential and commercial and we're gonna go here and there here and there you know how it goes we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit here again this is gonna be just a small neighborhood nothing crazy nothing over the top just something just the just the right taste right flavor to it let's go ahead and throw in a fire station right there and the heck with it let's go ahead and put a few although i'll guarantee you these um these elementary schools are going to be filled up by people from the outside of this area not from this area because that's just how it goes in in the uh, in city skylines but nevertheless we'll go ahead and put it these guys are already lacking in a high school go ahead and give them a high school right here so that's it's really for the most part electricity wise you guys should be good at electricity but i can extend i can extend it out there we go extend one out let's go ahead and see fast forward a little bit and see how beautiful this becomes just a little bit a little small neighborhood we might add a station here that's not a problem at all this was supposed to be from zone four all the way there but in this case in our case we can justify having a station here uh how is it pretty busy no what about on the way back let's take a look at the way back and see if we can even afford um if it doesn't get filled up all the way okay it barely gets filled up so that should help us out a little bit should help us out a little bit all right so we'll put this little train station here let's go ahead quickly but surely Get this out of here, just like that. And then, mm, 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 mm. where is the trail? There it is. There it is. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget this Friday, major announcement coming. Some of you guys already know what it is. I honest with you, you know what it is because I wasn't really trying to hide what it is towards the last few weeks. Uh, I wasn't really trying to hide what it is, you know. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's let the people know. Let's let the masses know. Let's let the public know, you know. I wasn't really trying what it is, but, you know, in case you don't know, major announcement coming uh, this, uh, sorry, not Friday, Thursday. So tomorrow from the time you see this episode, you will see a major announcement, uh, which is, like I said, something I'm very, I'm very glad of. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. There you go. So I got it. We got one stop. Uh, I'm trying to get it. Okay, let's 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 let it roll a little bit till it realizes that it needs to stop in there. But now we got uh, another train station stop over here. Obviously, it's not stopping on the way in, but we wanted to do on the way in and on the way out, and it's not stopping at all right now. Come on now. Come on now. I don't want to create a new line, but if I have to get this line out of here, then I will, and we will do that actually. Some way, somehow, we always end up working train line number seven. Some way, somehow, we always end up working in the transportation department when we do this game. Some way, somehow. But line number seven, you need to go bye-bye. You are barely even transporting anybody. What the heck is going on, man? You're not even trans you're barely transporting anybody. So I don't know if this line is even worth it, but we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and get this create a new line. 
You can go over here. We're gonna go down and obviously connect. It connects to what is this? At stop. I've just seen it at stop. So this goes here. Goes all the way down. Goes over yonder. Yep. So it ends up. Where the heck is this line going, bruh? <laughs> I'm getting confused by my own trail line. Not a good look, my dude. <laughs> Not a good look, my dude. <laughs> Jeremy, there we go. At this. Did we have to stop? Bro, what the what the hell's going on with this, man? We need answers. We need answers quick. We need answers. We need answers quick. Let's go ahead and go here again. So, bam, created a new line. Cool. Bam. We're going to go down this way. We're going to follow the strain track. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Is it making you dizzy yet? Because it's making me dizzy, folks. Show. And it's going, and it goes underground, goes over here, comes out here. Oh, this is straight to the downtown. Okay, I forgot about that. That's right. This is straight to the downtown. Not to the train station. That's that's right. That's right. That's right. My bad. My bad. My bad. And complete the line. Okay. Uh, so that's good. Let's go ahead and put this. Put this out. Line number nine. We do not need that many vehicles. Matter of fact, we're probably going to be good with just two trains. So take... Whoa, 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 whoa. Bring it back. Bring it back. There you go. Two, 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 two. Yo, 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 yo. Two. Two. Yo. Listen. DB, I know you're watching right now, bro. All we need is two, okay? I know you're the city advisor for this, but all we need is two, all right? Okay, cool. Let's keep going. All right, you can't have a, you can't really have a neighborhood without parks. That's one thing that I did forget to do over yonder. Bam. So parks is good here. Let's have just one more. Maybe nah, I knew that was going to be the too big one. Let's have one more right here. Bam. There we go. Now we got a little parks in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? It's all good in the neighborhood. Man, it's the whole area is filled up. Now, let's take a look at this real quick because, you know, last episode we kind of finished and went about our day. Let's take a look at this. Look at how many people are waiting for this train. It's quite crazy, man. It's quite crazy. And I'm glad to see at least Terminal 2 is, is doing somewhat okay. I'm actually going to name this Terminal 2. Uh, okay, a question that I'm sure I'm going to get. So let me, oh, Terminal 8. So this was Terminal, Terminal A, right? Because this was Terminal B, right? Yeah, so a question I'm sure I'm going to get asked, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be asked, is are you planning on doing City Skylines again? And the answer is absolutely right, I am. There's no way I'm done with City Skylines. I just, I'm telling you, I had so much fun with this series. It was such a blast. I mean, it really was. It was a challenge, and I like challenging myself. I like challenging myself in the aspect of content creation as well. And this is absolutely, is, is, a, is, is yes, I will be doing City Skylines down the road. Um believe it or not believe it or not now i gotta be careful what i say because man i'm telling you some of these youtubers bro i mean they even steal ideas i mean they don't even just steal videos they steal ideas you know but uh one thing that i really do plan on doing and i really because listen despite all the flaws that it had i kind of didn't mind it at the end of the day which was sim city 2013 i feel like it's a throwback i feel like it's a classic i feel like it's something again that's gonna challenge me uh and also you know whatever the, the, the small the small tiles big tiles we can just make it a 10 part series but i do feel like doing a city a sim city 2013 series of course if you're not familiar with what happened with sim city 2013 basically they did everything the opposite of what the fans what we wanted and it was a big failure. It was such a big failure that I don't think Maxis and EA Games are gonna have the guts to do another uh, city builder again, especially after uh, Paradox kind of and Sims, uh, City Skylines took over. But um, do I think they'll be doing another city builder? I highly, highly doubt it. But like I said, uh, it is something that I didn't completely mind. It wasn't like that bad for me. Like it wasn't like, oh my God, this sucks so bad. No, it was okay. Uh, but, you know, you guys will see, in case you never really watched it before, you guys will see. The thing about it, I own it, but I own it from an Origin account that I just have no idea what the password is. I have no idea what the username is. I think it's free with Origin Premium, my Jerritastic account, so I will definitely try that out. But the original Origin account that I owned it from, I bought it from when it came out. Oh, man, that's that's gone. That's gone, or the EA account, I should say. I Not gone, I just don't know where the hell it's at. I just noticed this right here. This is very upsetting. What the hell is this, man? 
all these businesses that could have been filled up. Why did this even happen is the question. Why did this even happen? Now, the last episode, we might work in the bus because the last kind of mini big project that we had going on is the bus station. So we might do the bus next last episode, but we'll see. We'll see. We might just say goodbye in a different way, but we'll, we'll think of something. Um, looks like some dead people over here that need some transportation. No problem. Oh, what the hell? Fire department, where the hell you at? Fire department. The thing I don't get about City Skylines is how you can have a fire department in the neighborhood, but yet they start go patrolling other places. I just never understood that. I mean, I guarantee you there's a fire station here. There it is right there. I mean, here, we'll put, put another one. I mean, but I guarantee you there was one right there. So it got put out? No, it didn't. Okay, so anybody want to go put this fire out or no? Somebody call 911. Johnny, my burning on a damn blue. I like how this truck just casual like man fuck I got delivery I got delivery to do I'm gonna just drop it off here where's the fire department bro are you kidding me <laughs> Jarmy where the heck okay this is this is not good oh there they are okay like like watch this watch this and there's a oh there's two fire trucks let's see firehouse which firehouse are you from come on click Oh, he's actually not even that far of a firehouse. Okay, just across the street. Well, across the highway, let's just say. What about you? You're also from that firehouse. Okay, so both of you guys came from here. But there are two fire stations here. Okay, I, I don't know, man. Who knows? But okay, let's go ahead. I'm kind of afraid that this is going to cause some traffic jam. Because, uh, you know, generally speaking, putting a lot of morgues in one area is not the best area, not the best choice. But uh, let's go ahead and put one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Make sure to got water. There we are. And there we are. So we're going to go ahead and wait for them. So like that's what I mean, because a lot of cars are going to spawn to go get the dead, especially if there's a lot of dead taking place. But for the most part, we should be spiffy. Let's see here. Actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Huh? Looks like they're not going that crazy. Okay, good, 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 good. And then we can add a little mini a crematorium, the, the new kind of one, the one that looks like a building. It looks like a, like the DA's office or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> looks like the DA's office. But yeah, so that's good. That's good. Housing is pretty good. Uh, we got 92,000 people. Man, it's you can really get high population with this, but for the most part, 92,000, we're doing pretty good. Traffic might be a little bit, actually 79. We're, we're ranging between 76 to 81%, which is excellent if you ask me, considering all the networks that we have here and there. What the hell? <laughs> really? Okay, I guess, I guess every airport needs airport police, right, guys? So let's go ahead and give them the airport police. Now, although I guarantee you, like I said, this police station is probably going to go uh, patrol somewhere else. Look at all these airplanes landing. Look at that. That's just crazy. Who, do, who is this? Korean Air. Of course, the 747 model is, looks like a, like Airbus 320, unfortunately. There's another 747. That's, that's Air France Cargo. Okay, we got the cargo coming in here. And of course, once they come out, they're going to go take the, take the train. I mean, what, what more do you want? You know, it's perfect. That's perfect. There comes Royal Jordanian, one of my favorite airlines in the world. I love Royal Jordanian. Such exceptional service. Um, actually, was traveling from Minneapolis to Chicago O'Hare, then from O'Hare straight hit to Amman, Jordan, and that was like a 13 and a half hour flight. I went up to the lady, uh, kind of you know, did the whole Jarmy talk on her, whatnot. I didn't actually tell her Jarmy talk, but the, the air it wasn't like it wasn't busy season. She hooked your boy up with $150, just $150 extra for first class seat. And this was, was a 787 first class, so I could like recline, man. It was unlimited drinks, unlimited food. Boy, I was like, man, I didn't even, I didn't even want the airplane to land, man. I don't want the airplane to land. So that was that was that was good, man. I just kicked back and yelled out, Jarmy. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap it up for this episode. We got the new or the last little mini neighborhood going on taking place, which is actually pretty pretty decent looking still actually has a lot of places that 
they can still build but it's not there yet next episode is the last one tomorrow is a special announcement video friday is tropical six season for episode one returning so very exciting week here at the jarmy headquarters i hope you guys are excited if you are go ahead and hit that like button for me thank you guys very much my name is your and i am out see you guys